Yo, what up, squad? It's your boy, Yatya! Oh, Tommy Toy Travels. And what am I doing today? Well, I have A-list videos, unboxings. I have B-list videos, reviews. I have C-list videos, Q&As, and then I have D-list videos, which is what you're seeing today with Thrift Shop Thursday, but it's a Wednesday. What I'm doing is I have in this bag a ton of wrestling toys, WWE. So let's open this up, but first, did I get my mom's book? Mom, you left your book in my bag. Okay, here's the deal. So I wanted to go shopping and I asked my mom if she could drive me, but she was like, uh, I'll take you after I get back from a yoga appointment. And I'm like, mom, and then she leaves her freaking book in my bag, wherever you go, there you are. Uh, no, duh. <laughs> so let's check, 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 check out what's in this bag, but I'm going to change the camera angle so you guys can see it better, and I'm going to cut away from the face and then come back for the thumbnail showing some toys because I think people like to click on thumbnails with this gorgeous cuisine of Bratwurst. Oh yes, does everyone love dolls as much as I do? Because I got so many of these Jax toys. Yeah, I know, Jax are old A as anything, and uh, I, I decided though that it was cool enough and old school enough, like 10 years old figures, yeah, that's rare. Like Star Wars figures from the early 1800s, those are really freaking rare and I can flip them for a profit. So I picked up so many, so many toys. So let's check this out. You guys wanna see a, a, a sick angle? Oh, it's like I'm doing a flyover for the WrestleMania Jets. Oh, and check it out, anyone like music? Fuel, Hemorrhage in My Heart. This is like one of my favorite albums featuring the song Fuel by the band Hemorrhage. Okay, toy fans, let's get started with these bags. There are like 15 here. I dropped 15, I think uh, five, 15, 10, 10, $150 on it. So let's open the first bag up. You can see it was $8 for three figures. Can you imagine if that was for Mattel? People would be hyped. First up, I recognize that face. This is Chris Jericho. This is a rare, extremely, extremely HTF rare uh, WWE Jax basic. Really nice printing on there, stuff like that. It's just a bummer that the Jax looks so dated, but the head sculpts and the paint job, I think even Mattel doesn't have as good uh, a sculpt work as that. That just screams Jericho. You look at that face, it's like a little Jericho head. Well, that's how it should be. And then up next, there are gonna be so many wrestlers that I literally have no idea. But this, I know, that is uh, Hardcore Holly. Yo, is it just me or does that look kinda like Wyatt fan when it's not focused, right? Uh, but when it gets focused, it, maybe it looks like Hardcore Holly. Yo, Brandon Hodge. This is a big conspiracy here. I think that looks just like him. Oh, it's Mr. Kennedy. My, my bad. I thought it was Hardcore Holly. Cause why do you have the HH there? What the heckers, guys? But he does have a tattoo and he does, uh... I don't think he really looks like me. I don't know. I literally fake... Fake Jax fan, so. And then last but not least is my favorite Jax figure. It is a John Cena Jax. It looks just like a John Cena Mattel, but yeah, I assume it's a Jax because it was in the Jax box and I am a fake WWE fan, but look at how rare this is. It features a little playability function, a little playability wear and tear, but I think that adds to the allure of it. Like, who played with it? What if this was Sasha Banks' old figure that they donated? You never know. You never know, because most people assume I live in Boston, so I'm probably buying all her old figures, right? All right, now here, uh, here are some more guys that I literally have no idea who they are. This dude, I don't know, he looks, he looks very happy, though. Um, and there's nothing on his tights or attire that eludes me, so here's the fun thing. I actually know who all these are, guys are, so leave who they are in the comments so then I'll even know more who they are, like this guy. Who is that? 
Who is that? Literally no idea. And then who's this guy? Who's this guy? Yeah, look at that face sculpt scan sculpt. That is incredible. It looks just like Edge and in MIO, far better than Mattel. You know what someone could do? If someone figured out how to make molds of these head and shrink them down just a little bit so you could use them with a Mattel body, holy cow, right guys? And this one is like their, uh, whatever they called it, like the, the deluxe edition or something, and it, it has the extended articulation, but it's still on the Jack's body, so it still looks kind of trash. But uh, it's crazy how their articulation scheme is pretty much the same as Mattel with their Elite. So I guess not much has changed since then. Just a better sculpting. Incredible. That face. Incredible. Let's move on to another bag. Alright, here's a, a variant. Wyatt Fan Hardcore Holly. And on the back, it says Mr. Kennedy. I literally don't know who to believe anymore, but he's rare variant where he's missing one of his knee pads. So this could go on flea bay for $10 million. And then the other guy in the set is, uh, he must've bought a big Chris Jericho fans collection because this is Y2J. And look at this, it's the fa same face sculpt scan just painted differently. Which head do you think was better? I think this one's much better. But holy cow, look how small that head is on that body. Maybe this head could actually be used on a Mattel. Let's see the comparison. Yeah, luckily the Chris Jericho head is about the same size as a Mattel head, if not a little bit smaller, but I think it could work. The only problem is, is that the tone of the face and the painting detail is a lot superior. Although the painting detail is the tone of the head, I don't know, it might look a little lifeless because it seems like they painted that. I don't know. I don't know. But I think this Chris Jericho could definitely work and be a lot better than any Mattel Jericho face unless you want to be uh, negative and, and say I'm wrong in the comments. Uh, let's do that. Can't have positivity without a little negativity. But this is Jericho and I dropped it. That figure looked epic! And speaking of freaking epic, this is a rare TJ Perkins action figure. Holy cow, how did I get a TJP figure early? Yeah, that's right guys, I'm so lit, I'm so swag that I got an early pre uh, Jack's uh, uh, TJ Perkins dab figure. Unfortunately, the articulation's pretty crap, so he can't even dab, that's the closest he can do, but you can see it looks just like TJP. Oh my gosh, I got a TJ Perkins figure this early. And then who else is in the set? We got uh, Mike the Miz, M Mizanin, Mizanin, whatever his name is, but look at that, he looks like such a tool. Oh my gosh, cool pants, bro. He makes fun of everyone else. How did he get Maurice? You know why? Because he had his fedora. That's the only reason he got such a, a, a wife, because uh, otherwise he'd be, he'd be stuck being a jabron, probably. And last but not least from this bag is the person that I said if I ever got a figure of him, I'd delete my channel. So therefore, this is my last video, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm just pranking y'all because this is not a Mattel-made figure, but this is Festus. You can see the likeness on him is absolutely perfect. This is probably one of the greatest action figures ever created by mankind. I know I said that about Shrek in the past, but just look at this. Look at this beauty. Look at this form. I love how loose his arm is because it shows that it's a it's a real a real figure with flaws. So thank you so much for, for being able to share this moment with me as I got that. And what else do I have? Uh, some like Fabio looking dude with some nice hair. Uh, this is another one. Let's play a little trivia. Who the heck is this jabron? Uh, I have no freaking clue who that is. I'm seeing a little Trent in there, but then again from that angle, I'm seeing a little, I don't know who that is. Oh, all right, and then again, uh, BK, maybe best, best Bakuma Mero. I don't know who this ICP type dude is, but we got some spooky clowns and stuff. That's his face. Brian Kendrick? Is this the Brian Kendrick? Rare Brian Kendrick action figure? Holy cannoli. Oh my gosh, guys. Guys, 
I got a TJP figure and a Brian Kendrick. Oh my gosh, talk about living the dream. Ice cold dreams. Oh man, and then, uh, who is this? Who's this guy? Yeah, this is a new one. Who's this? SR Seth freaking Rollins? Oh my gosh, guys, look at that Seth Rollins. Or Summer Rae, I can't tell. Oh wow, that's a really cool Seth Rollins. It looks just like him. You know, uh, and anyone that doesn't say that, they're just a hater. And back off, haters, because you're just a hater. This is a sick Seth Rollins doll. And then up next is Mike the Miz. And yeah, okay, now I'm starting to understand why Marisa loves him. Look at that attire. That looks sick. It's purple and red, and he has these cool gloves on. Now I understand it. And look at that face. Wow. Very, very cool. And then last but not least from that set is a uh, deluxe edition Fit Finlay, which uh, is very, very cool because he has the articulation and stuff like that, which I, I really appreciate when toys have articulation and stuff like that because otherwise, what is the point? And let's keep rolling on, guys. I got so many rare exclusive figures to this uh, rare thrift shop Thursday hunt. And here is... Um, a cat man I don't know who that is but he has like a cat on his tights and on the back it says pounce so maybe this is uh, uh, cart catman it looks kind of like Batista with his face uh, but I don't think this is Batista so let me know and then of course you can't have a Jax figure without its head being way too huge for that body. And this is a prime example of when people say, Yo, would you rather have Mattel or Jax be making these figures? The answer is forever Jax. Look at that. Nothing with this sculpt looks off. Nothing with it looks wrong. This is perfection. That is the right head size totally. And this is beautiful. I love it. Was this like a bobblehead, uh, a big head type? NBA Jam throwback. I don't know, but I love it. John Cena's never looked better in his life. But for some reason, I feel like Jax had a better job capturing the John Cena likeness than Mattel does. Your thoughts, as Grimm's Toy Show would say. Uh, or is it Ebenezer that says that? Whatever. Who cares? Who literally cares? And then keep going on. We have this dude yet again. Who is he? I have no idea, but someone loved him in the past. And then get ready, guys. I don't know who this is. So here's the question in the comments. Who is this dude looking very spooky? Uh, yeah. I have no clue. Ugh. But it's a deluxe edition, so yay. And then we got this guy. Uh, his, his, his shirt says 13. So I guess he's like uh, Ty Dillinger's brother, because he's 13, Ty Dillinger is uh, 10, obviously. This is Taz, the Tasmanian Devil, that, I got it. So TNA announcer Taz, amazing, look at that face. He looks like he's just uh, going <coughs> a little, maybe. Maybe I'm being too childish in this video, but whatever, guys. It is Thrift Shop Thursday, today ain't a Thursday. And right here, we have your boy, Shelton Benjamin, soon to be WWE Superstar Return. Maybe they announced it, then he never showed up. Uh, here he is in all his glory as a Jax figure, deluxe edition, so you can do that articulation scheme. Wow, incredible. Look at that color tone. Beautiful. And then we have another hardcore Holly. Uh, this time, not looking like a uh, Wyatt fan. I don't know who he's supposed to be. Be looking like but uh this is a good hardcore holly and then last but not least from the doors john morrison look at that shirt looking just like he's from the doors look at that face looking like he's ready to go back to lucha underground this is a johnny johnny mundo figure and then here's the last pack guys john cena certified g it says live fast fight hard quote John Cena with his mouth open going ah, ah. and on the back it says American made muscle John Cena was really cool back then what happened to him he got married he settled down 
And then we got this greaser jabroni. Who is this supposed to be? But he's some jabroni being like, Hey, I'm the Fonz. Oh, is this a Fonz action figure from American Graffiti? Holy crap, guys. What the bleep? Oh my gosh, so rare, so HTF. And then can't end it on a, on a happy note, so I'm ending it on a sad note. Dave freaking Batista with his best action figure ever created. Look at this. If, it, if my heel camera would ever focus, you'd be able to see the glory that is this figure. Wow, Dave Batista. Copyright 2005. It looks just like him. That tattoo is amazing. So much articulation. Incredible. And then the last thing I bought because I like books, I picked up this incredible book. This is like worth $10,000. Look at this picture. It has pictures in there because I can't read words or anything. So this is great. I'm going to learn what The Rock actually says and maybe I'll learn what he's cooking. This will be amazing. So that's it guys, that's everything I got. Isn't it all incredible? I got John Cena's, but I think the best figure I got in here was definitely, definitely, definitely Big Head John Cena. Don't you think? John Cena and Jericho, I think, are some of the coolest that I got, especially Big Head Cena, because right now my head's looking very big. But here, let's get an example of what it would look like if I had a Big Head John Cena like that figure. Hi guys, I have a big head like that John Cena figure. But yes, this is what I got. Uh, let me know how much you think I I could flip this off for. I'm thinking somewhere between ten thousand and one million dollars, especially considering I got the Hemorrhage CD, which is one of my favorite albums, and my dumb mom made me spend like four bucks for her for making her drive there. To Come on, Mom. Hold on, I think I just heard the post office drop off a ringside collectibles package, which you will see unboxed next time on this channel. Yeah, that's right, I'm doing like a Back to the Future thing where I show you what I'm doing in my next video, but in the video before. Yeah, that's right. It's called pre-promotion. It's called planning. Whoa!